Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a significant period of time since I have continued my career mode, but I'm, I'm determined to get it done before the grand final next week. Richmond and the Dockers at Optus the Stadium. We need another dub. So if you didn't hear the news uh, a couple of days ago, AFL 23 finally coming to the Xbox systems. But as for right now, can Dusty fend off a bloke? He can. He's been, He's been taken high. I don't think I've seen a high tackle in this game. Oh my God, his head been ripped off. His head has been ripped off. Oh, it's a swinging arm into the scone. I don't feel like there's been an update to this game in a while, but... I haven't played it for a few weeks. Oh, that is a ripping grab over the top. Not sure who it was again. And that's 50. So Nat Fife to line up for Fremantle's first. He's, oh, he's almost missed it. But he's put it through for the Dockers. Nathaniel Fife. Anyway, now Ryan on the left inside 50. Dusty is down there and he's in front and he'll take the mark and he'll line up. 35 outs. A little bit of angle. Not too much to speak of, though. And he does not make a mistake, unlike Timothy. It's a goal apiece. This game actually feels quite good now. I'm not going to lie. I, I haven't played it for a few weeks. I don't think there's been an update. But it genuinely feels a bit smoother. From the middle, Ryan inside 50. Over the top was Rewalk. He got nowhere near. Probably should have been a free kick against him. Anyway, picks it up now. Doesn't get near it again because he's run down from behind. And now Samson Ryan, or it's not Bolter actually, can take the intercepting grab for the Tigers. Oh, Nank, that's a good grab. And then he proceeds to go on his left boot to Dusty, who's got a bit of space. That's just the kick to the advantage of the forward. It is exactly what we love to see. So Dustin Martin can line up 50 out. From goal, it's on the way and it's going to go to left. So, 1-3-9 the Tigers after they conceded the first goal of the game, which they really should have kicked. And that'll be quarter time. So, it is 1-4-10 uh, the Tigers, 1-6 straight six, the Dockers. Should really be four or five goals the advantage to Richmond, but they have failed uh, at kicking their set shots today. And again, he sprayed it left, which Richmond have consistently done. So, they're 1-5-11. Fremantle, just the one snag. Uh, and they haven't missed, of course, just the one opportunity in front of goal for them. That ball is short and putrid, and Tyler Young, yet to kick a goal in his career. This would be a first. 45 out directly in front. Tyler Young, his kick's on the way! And he's put it through! Cue the celebrations! Oh, and doesn't he love it? He's off to the races. Doesn't win it in the air. On the ground, he's first to it. Just puts a bit of handball action in there. Short ball forward, rewalks! In this game, they just haven't got the advantage on the scoreboard yet. Jack puts it through just. I was not sure who was going to skim the post. The lead out to 15, 16, 17 points. Grimes towards Martin. Oh, that's deliberate. Oh, oh, gone. Oh, that's deliberate. He's paid it. Jeez, it's been a it's been a weird sort of a match this one, because we have absolutely smashed Fremantle here in every facet of the game, and the scoreboard is beginning to reflect that as McIntosh bends it through. Richmond's lead out to twenty three points, which is not a significant amount. Out of the middle. This time the Dockers do win it. Oh, go forward to Freddy. Who plays on... Oh, he's given, the, he's given them a freebie here, the umpire. He has given them 50. On what was absolutely a non-decision there, Dars. So Frederick will kick the Dockers second. Off a 50 metre penalty. He was barely off the ground and they paid 50 metres. Who got it out of defence, but it's straight back to Cochin, who launches it up towards Rewalt. Prestia at the fall of it, throws it on the shoe and kicked the goal. And he's kicked my 400th in this game. Can you believe it? Ball into the middle of the ground. It's a dangerous 50-50, and that'll be half time. It's a 23-point Richmond advantage. 
It's a kind of exciting game because I am smashing them everywhere in the ground. Like, I am dominating. Just do the chaotic ball straight down the middle from the kick in. It is putrid decision making that because Richmond's best long kick, Jaden Short, will absolutely slot this from outside the paint and make it a five goal game in favour of the Tigers. As you might have to have a shot here, Fremantle. Oh my goodness, what are they doing? He's kicked it straight to Taranto on the mark. And yeah, they'll get another opportunity. Tabano is down there. That's right, Tabano is still playing in this particular season. And that's a short ball. In the number five this year. Has slotted that one. He's pretty happy with himself. But Fremantle still an opportunity forward. Walters uh, was lurking, as was Frederick. And the left foot snap... Might have been put through. Okay. It was Tabana. But uh, if they could just get another one here before three-quarter time free Melanie, you'd feel they're in the game. That's a short ball to Tabana who can line up 45 out directly in front. Have the shot, mate. Oh, instead he finds a man all alone in the goal square. It's Lockie Schultz. And this will be three in a row for the Dockers. They'll bring the margin back to two. Oh, no, he's missed. <laughs> oh no, he missed. It's a, it's a real struggle, isn't it? Anyway, 19 points of margin. Can the Dockers get one late here? Little kick from the pack. Oh, I think that's pretty good. And it is. And they cut it back to 13 again. It was Brayshaw this time. It's Darcy versus Grimes in the rucks. He'd favour the Dockers to win this clearance. Taranto put the tackle on. Young got the handball back out to Darcy. Now to Brayshaw. Inside 50. Tabana's down there. Fist got away from him. Then it's Schultz. Goes with a short ball. Just missed. Fife. Young out of the fence. Finds short. Richmond around if he can go long. He can. Towards Bolton and Rewalt. Bolton gets it. Handball straight away to Jack. And there's the siren. As the Tigers were strolling into another opportunity in front of goal. That is a disappointing end to the term. But I knew there, was, there wasn't much time left. That's why we had to go. Four minutes of chaos to start the final term. Fremantle with their first opportunity. Young inside the 50. Frederick. Okay. To within, what is it, seven points. And he sneaks it in. It's now Bolter in the ruck for the Tigers. Not sure why they, they're reluctant to put Nane Curvis in there. For the Dockers through the middle again. Now Darcy, 55 from home. What's he do? Oh, that man ran through the mark. That should have been 50. Anyway, the handball goes off. Frederick in the square. It falls. And it's a goal. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's a one-point game. From outside 50. He's got a couple of options here. One of them short is Cochin. The other man there is Bolton who does take the mark. Directly in front. Richmond need this. Fremantle are coming at them. And Bolton's pulled it left. To 7-1-43. That is the worst kick I think I have ever seen from a kick in. It has gone straight to the bloke on the mark. Who was Trent Cotchin. Who puts through a big Richmond goal. And of course the boos come from the Dockers fans. You would be filthy at that. Ryan the Prestia gets the clearance. Rewalt somehow takes a fly. Would put it very close to beyond doubt for Fremantle. And his kick is perfect. So in the big moments, Richmond have stood up. Oh, he's got Dusty short. He has Dusty very short. And the kick is perfect. 20 points. The margin. And that will do us here at Optus Stadium. Richmond with a 20-point result. 9-9-63. 7-1-49. Fremantle. It is a 20-point win over Fremantle. They were a bit inaccurate, Richmond. It could have been a lot more after the Dockers closed within a point in the last term. Who were your best players on the ground? Rewalt and Dusty and Frederick. A couple of goals apiece. Luke Ryan with 19 possessions coming out of the back half. 18 of those kicks. Richmond, they didn't have a lot of the ball with their major ball winners being Bolton and Cochin. 10 apiece. But certainly the Tigers did a number on the Dockers. 
I'd like to see this uh, this room decked out a little bit more. Not gonna lie. I, I would like to see like some uh, some logos of the team that you are or the the winning team like up on the on the wall and stuff, just to make it feel a bit more you know like like the rooms. It just feels like a bit of a bland room at the moment. Anyway. Uh, at the moment, you can see on the ladder, Richmond just inside the eight. Seven and six. And they come up against the Saints, who are six, five, and a draw. So they're just two points behind us. We've now got a massive encounter against the Saints coming up, everyone. Uh, the winner will stay in the top eight and, and push themselves about a game inside, a game and a half, perhaps. So here we go. Nane Curvis. Versus Marshall in the middle, and it's Marshall gets it down straight away to Ross. And the Saints, oh, big pressure early from the Tigers. We love that from Dan Rioli. He sends it up towards half forward. Dustin Martin is down there. It's fisted away from him by Wilkie, who's run down, and that's holding the pill. In the Coleman, probably, let's be honest. And his kick is on the way, and he loves it. Get in. That was a nice job. That's uh, intercepted. Hopper almost wins it back. Rioli again. Another tackle pressure there. And Miller is down in defence. He was slated to start in the forward line. This is Filippo for the Saints first. He's had 76 touches this year. And the seven snags make that eight as he snaps it through on his left foot. Rioli couldn't mark. Neither could whoever number 10 is. Or is that Caminiti? Is he number 10? I believe he might be. And Filippo will line up for his second. Similar sort of a spot. Maybe a little bit further around, and this time he bends it around beautifully again. Same result, St Kilda have two. Takes the grab, and he plays on immediately. Goes inside the 50, rewaltz. He's been a smooth operator, and that is smooth operation at goal to put it through. Ross, handball, gets out of there, and this should be another one. So the Saints have three Coming late in the opening turn. And that will be quarter time. The Saints with a six point advantage. Shaden Shaw disappointed in his first term. After Zach Jones got off the leash. That was Dan Butler there as well. The Saints, two of the last, three of the last four goals of the opening term. Which is exactly what happens. But Dusty is aware. He takes the intercept and can line up for the first goal of the second term. Oh, he shanked it left. Intercepted by Young. He was off, though. Sent it towards Broad. It's fisted away from him. Here's Hopper from outside the paint. Sends it towards goal. It's right to the line. And Ross will take the grab. Playing a, almost a small forward role this season, Jack Ross. Snaps it through. The Tigers hit the lead. The first time since the opening goal of the game. St Kilda can repel, but it's only as far as Baker, who gets in front of Higgins, and he sends a footy forward. And Broad, somehow in that, has taken the grab. This kick at goal will put them seven points up. And the siren perhaps put him off because he's missed everything. Instead of using a handball, and Hopper was the man who was the recipient. His ball went short, finds Bolton. He can take off. Does enough to get away from his man. It's Rewalt and Martin down there and Broad as well. He missed the opportunity right on half time. Shouldn't make a mistake here. He's 20 out with no angle to speak of. And he puts it through. Now it's picked up and sent inside the 50 and Membry all on his own. Bring the margin back to one point. At the city end of the ground, he's got it. Punched away by Baker. Now Graham just sends a high ball again. Top of the square, similar spot. Again it falls! But this time Ross makes no mistake. You've got to kill this ball if you're St Kilda. Jack Ross falling over the goal line. Big Samson just hacks it down there. There was Crouch, Sinclair. Oh, he went backwards with that. That could be a free kick. It was a throw. And Hopper wins it. Boo na na na. Boo na na na. Hopper's kicked a goal. There's Young sending it forward towards Bolton. It's Wilkie there as well. Prestia goes short. And he finds McIntosh. He's actually got rewalled on shorter than that. So it's broad. 30 out directly in front. This time he makes it. No mistake. 
And he finally gets his second. I think he might have had about two career goals before this year. And that will be three-quarter time. The Tigers take a 23-point advantage in a big third term. The Premiership quarter is what they call it. It was four goals to one in favour of the Tigers, stretching the lead out to 23 points. Just outside the 50-metre line. Jackie Moon, he's got one goal today. He's for his 10th for the year. It looks pretty good. And he nails it. Go on, turn that over. Oh, you goose. Tyler! 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 Young has put it through! <laughs> oh, he loves it. The more the game has gone, the Tigers have just got better and better. And that is a pretty good handball. Prestia from outside the paint. His kick on its way. It's pretty good. <laughs> and this is another one. It's now up to six goals. This will be their biggest win of the year, Richmond. Who hasn't actually kicked a goal today. But on this occasion, he bends it through. Right on the full-time siren. You can't do that. I'm sorry, that's play on. You cannot do that, Dan Butler. But he has been allowed to. So the Saints go down by 36 points in a big loss, but a big win for Richmond. There's Tyler Young. He's very happy with himself. Oh, there's Tyler Young again. He's also very happy with himself. It was an eight goal to three second half. It set up the Richmond surge to take down the Saints. Like the tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold. Oh, yellow and black. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Yellow and black. Oh, there's Camden. Oh, have a look at him. So you take a look at the ladder. The Tigers 8 and 6. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, as they head into their bye, uh, and they are currently sitting in sixth position on the AFL ladder, percentage almost up to that 100 mark. We'll be taking on the Lions, who have had a really poor year by their standards. Um, and so you can see the top four there, Sydney, Geelong, Melbourne, and Adelaide. Uh, as we will play, uh, we will play, I think, Melbourne. Uh, and Sydney, perhaps, in the back end of the year from the top four, while the rest we will not play inside the eight. So we, we do have actually a reasonably simple run home, uh, and we are just one game outside of the top four, the Crows having a game in hand at this point. So can we make the top four is probably our challenge uh, because we're playing some pretty good football at the moment. We're two games inside the eight, uh, and we would say we need to win five of the next nine uh, to secure our finals position. So hopefully that's the case and we can do that. Um, but obviously we're going to fly through this career as we head towards the pointy end of the year.